What's up guys? Music M here. I hope you are good. I am too. So today I want to take you on a short left ngala itekwini at Deben ngivayene zinja zam untetselelo no opa just on a vacation on a weekend vacation. So we left Joburg on Thursday and we came back Monday. So la basic N3 see KZ10 emhlanga etekwini. Let's go. Okay, but before the road trip, uh, so we decided to do, you know, the attire, the Durban, the KZ10 attire, just for the road trip. As you can see, I'm going to wear my brand wood, I'm uh, going loafers, and my golf t-shirt. Well, I'm wearing a golf t-shirt, he was just wearing a t-shirt. So now, okay, ladies, inbox me, man, for not out. I'm telling you, Sanje, a young 5,000, you fag a lion. Cover the cavella, that's me right there. If you're doing KZ10, you gotta do KZ10 right. So yeah, Beskatum Lula, the first tall gate here. Um, just taking what, what do you call it? Uh so calm. Just just taking a piece. Is it a peace break? That doesn't sound right. But yeah, we just parked and went to, to take a, a Lignana and continue with the journey. <laughs> I my guy Opa Uibambile all the way from Joburg up until uh, Emshang, I Bambile, which was about seven hours or just under seven hours. So Labis is Genile Teguin, as you can see, you can the air is different. Just Moya Ohamba Ohamba Opumeluanzi just hits you different, man. That salty air, you know, the humid weather. So yeah, but this feel like it's the same thing. This is five oyster crescent. So we had booked this villa. So yeah, I'll do um, a review of the villa in a separate video that's going to come out soon. So check out for that. But I'll do a review of the whole villa. Everything you know. But you can see from the outside, this place was amazing. It was beautiful. It was everything we wanted. So yeah, this feel. Checking out the views of the Kribo. I gave us up challenge. You know, you don't drink and drive, but as soon as we landed, Spaghi Moto and we used Uber and Bolt, and I sakala gets a placa. Started having a few drinks, getting ready for the club. Yeah, here but since the research, deciding which club we should go to first. Where to get food? Samba Saya AM Shanga Rock. Um, looking for food. And then we requested and went to Florida. Now Aban Basetugin Bazong Chela was happening with Florida, but it wasn't what I expected. I'm not sure if it died after the incident with the famous AKA or what happened because I've always had it's like the place to be Mafuni vibe. But when we got there, dead. Place was dead, and this is month end. So yeah, this is the actual place um, where AKA, rest in peace, uh, was shot. So the place is closed currently, 
uh, as you can see but the whole street was just yeah it was dead so we got there we walked around didn't find anything um or any places na chila corners blome so we decided to request back to mhlanga must figure mhlanga say oceans mall and say a black i gave a zisha get black as you can see opa se ka shaye zaki it was happening My guy has dance moves. So yeah, we had fun. Following morning, um me and Tete decided to go and get some grub at Gardens. You cannot go to Durban and leave without going to a Gardens and get some Indian, some Indian chow. Like, okay, I think I had a uh, chicken curry or was it lamb curry and rice. Um my dude had a bunny chow. And guess who I met when we got back in Hlanga? Uh the one and only Dr. Muzi Sambo. If you if you into cars, if you watch car review shows, then you will know Dr. Muzi Sambo. So it was it was just a great surprise meeting this legend, man. We had an awesome conversation actually. So check out his channel and please do subscribe to my channel. So second night we wanted to go at Rockets, but somehow we ended up back in black uh, at the Black Club because we had such an awesome time the night before. So exceni um this is now Sunday Savuga Sai Beach The weather was in so good Sunday uh, but we had expected it uh, and we decided to go to the beach Ana e am I swim anga football ngambona cogge so boy tunje I go to Tintamans went back to the villa and the weather was just getting worse but we did go out later that night and it was raining by the night so we went to a place called Mochos uh, i'm not even sure what he in kamalekasi but it's a Mochos it was a sunday vibe but i like it because on a sunday they play deep house music i'm not into that soul session vibes that's it's not my thing so i could at least consume some deep house as you as you can see the place was standard it was nice just good to we were tired but the place was a vibe get my nigga falling asleep like i said we were tired okay we had we'd been grooving friday saturday now this is sunday uh come monday we has gaming at chigelan we drove together but i'm not driving five hours seven hours to joburg so as i got in a car and drove back me i got in a bolt and airport So yeah, it was raining on a Monday. The weather had gotten even more worse. So this was in the Uber to the airport. I think this was the scariest flight I'd been in in a while. Look at the mist. You can't even see outside. The safety belt sign was on the entire flight, which was the first for me. Turbulence was yo, yeah. But luckily, made it in Joburg alive, and here we are. So yeah, this was our trip. Ete Wini had a good time. Um, yeah, I will be dropping the review of the villa soon, so check that out.